What's up, YouTubers? Today we're going to take a quick look. This is not a full review. Uh, I'm not going to do a full review on this one. This is the Benchmade Mini Crooked River. This knife has aluminum bolsters, diamond wood. Diamond wood is essentially resin suspended wood, um, layers with wood and resin. Think of it as epoxy resin to go ahead and, and stabilize it. You know, this is not going to behave like regular wood. It's going to be much stronger. It's going to behave more like you know, a G10 or anything else that has a resin, my card or something like that, just with wood in it. Um, this was actually on loan to me from Brian, one of my viewers that also lent me the Sokoke. And uh, as much as the Sokoke just absolutely wowed me, this one didn't necessarily. Um, so let's just talk about it. Like I said, it's not going to be a full review. This knife has a roughly a 3.37 inch blade, weighs about 3.4 ounces, and um, has an S30 fee steel um, blade for, as base. This might be one that might be cool to actually customize through their um, their online store. But we'll talk about a few things why I didn't really like this one from the beginning and actually in hand as well. It kind of didn't work as well for me. Um, beautiful looks. So I do love, you know, like the little, the pop of orange color. And then you have the orange, um, the G10 backspacer there. So it's kind of cool, you know. We'll start pulling out some Benchmades because I am a Benchmade fan. But uh, just not this particular one. You know, so one that kind of, another clip point. This is a, a clip point, kind of a little more dramatic there. Um, but I did like the orange color pops. But I have the Weekender, and it has that particular blade. Obviously, this is just a slip joint. So just something where, you know, if that's something the cool that, that drives you, nah, that's fine. You know, it's this is a, a, a typical Benchmade. uses the Axis Lock. Let's talk about some of the things that I didn't like necessarily. Is, is you know, this one is a supposed to be kind of like a, a mini hunting hunter blade. Um, you know, and obviously with that clip point, it, you know, it could be used for something a little bit more where you need stabby capability versus just maybe uh, you know cutting of limbs and or skinning. You know, so it has good belly for skinning. But from my you know from my perspective, I think just going with a bug out has plenty of belly, maybe even a bit a little bit better belly. Um, and, you know, customizing a bug out. Oh, let's talk, sorry, briefly about this one. This knife retails for $270, which to me was just a little bit of a surprise. I thought that was a little bit high based on the specifications of it. Um, you know, so for me, that was kind of a turnoff. Again, you can wait for deals and so forth from Benchmade. There are other, you know, discounts that the vet, veterans and things um, can, can get out there for this one. So but I'm really basing this on for a $270 retail knife that it's it's not one that, that i would strongly recommend like i said you can customize a this is a 20 cv benchmade bug out with uh, titanium titanium which does you know effectively mimic um contouring in there uh that's one good thing that that was about this the the, the mini crooked rivers it does have a contouring on it so it's comfortable width wise but it's very short if you kind of take a look at these two you look how much taller Oops, sorry, I guess you can see it better this way. You can see how much taller the bench made or the bug out is. You know, it gives you another freaking quarter of an inch, you know, several millimeters. So for fitting into the hand, if you need to grip it tight, a, a, a little bit better grip, um, you know, the, the width wise, they're they're fairly similar. The, the, the Crooked River is, a, the mini Crooked River is a little bit wider, but because you lose that height in hand, um, it, it's kind of a problem now in terms of another knife the 940 Bosborn that one is also short uh, in the hand but that one's an extremely short overall knife or um, you know not tall this way so if you kind of look at that one in pocket you're going to that one's going to be really a narrower knife in pocket this one is fairly narrow but again it's like you know for the purposes of a knife that you maybe kind of need to beat up the 940, probably the one in aluminum, might be a better choice. Uh, this is aluminum bolster, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. So, you know, if you kind of want a knife that you kind of beat up, work hard knife, um, I think probably the 940 might satisfy that need. You know, if you need something that you can really beat, beat hard on, I think the Mini Adamas is probably a, maybe a better option. It's obviously going to use much thicker blade stock if you take a look at that i think the um the mini crooked river is 0.11 whereas like your bug out is 0.09 so it's going to be thinner um and then i think the 0.10 for the the osborne so 
you're kind of splitting lots of different options here. Um, you know, again, I wouldn't choose this one for a complete and total hard use. I would just go for the Mini Adamas. Much wider in hand, speaking of kind of wider in hand, take a look at that. It's, you know, again, this thing is a full hand feel for even a, a kind of a smaller hand. Uh, my wife's. This one is just, just so darn short this way that it, it kind of, that's a problematic. Um, and then in terms of maybe kind of like the best overall for me, a bench made, it's going to be the Gri Griptilian. You know, that's going to be a full hand in terms of the height, the contouring, the width is going to kind of whip this one out of the park. And that was like 217 bucks in M4 steel. This one was 270 um, I just, I, I can't even fathom, um, the, the mini Crooked River as, as necessary. Certainly not as a good value. In the end, really for me, I was just like, well, actually there is one more. I'll go ahead and pull it out. Um, and that would be like, if you were really, if I was really going to be hunting and or skinning, I would probably choose just to go with one of the fixed blades. Like this is the uh, altitude. Um, and it's, it's much smaller, kind of very tiny, obviously entirely different. But you can wrap paracord around this. Is which, uh, what what I have done actually is wrap paracord around this just to give it some more uh, girth in the handle. But it's really designed. It has forward jimping. It's really designed for skinning. It's S ninety V steel, um, and the, the edge retention is going to be basically forever relative to the S thirty V. You're not going to run out of uh, you know edge retention if you were to skin one rabbit or, or you know a couple. Uh, I'd say small game. Um, so really, in the end, it comes down to, I think, a style choice. Um, the fact that they used, oh, that they used the penis clip on this one, which is the 940, uses that too. It's not overly, it's not the greatest in terms of comfort because you have that little penis point that kind of pokes you there. Um, but in this one, it doesn't come into play as much just because you end up with so much cavity space with that short height of the scales that you know for me i i knew that i was never overly attracted to this one and having held it in hand um i truly appreciate brian lending me this thanks brian peace but this is definitely not a knife for me i would go for i think if i was going to go for an all-out you know maybe small hunter knife maybe the new tagged out um the new tagged outs are coming out with um you know there's also there's a whole deployment as well as some that are that have the thumb stud deployment uh they're coming out with different steels i think i saw one in magna cut for just a little bit more and so for me maybe go for the thinner on the tagged out i think it's a little bit taller in terms of in the hand there so f yeah for an actual kind of folder hunter skinner i think the tagged out is going to be at a better option the mini crooked river is you know it's kind of an homage to obviously the the the, the crooked river which i think is closer to a four inch blade so you're going to get it much bigger and much bigger in every facet again i guess i guess really probably who's going to be interested in this is somebody who has smaller hands likes the design cues really likes that clip point blade um that's probably it oh as in usual fashion by the way it is uh left hand and right hand tip up carry so that's a great thing benchmate always does a really good job with that and the excess loss lock is fully ambidextrous so these are just some of my thoughts on the mini crooked river and why I, I can think of, <coughs> excuse me, several other Benchmades that I would just choose above it myself. So hope this was interesting and short of use. Uh, you know, I appreciate the like and subscribe. Take care.